Australia, it's Claire Spaulding and you're watching my weekly vlog for my brand story. As always, I'm here to help you build a truly authentic business and brand that will fun it. Don't know about you, but my year is wrapping up. Um, not really, I'm still working, but it is becoming the festive season, whether you're festive or not. I like to celebrate just spending time with family and friends and just enjoying the holidays. I've got to show you this one thing. We received this Christmas card. Adoration of the Dashi. Can you see there? Little sausage dog. I mean, that's really what I love, the sausage dog. You think about it, there are a lot of fun sausage dog cards out there and our family are always trying to find them because we are a sausage dog family. I'm going to let you in a little secret in our family. Between my, our fa my household, my partner and I, his parents and his sister, and we all live near each other, we have seven dash hounds. I know, and two big dogs. So that's nine dogs. It's insane. You should see it when we have Christmas or any family get togethers. They're all together. Like yesterday, oh my gosh, the dogs were everywhere, all over the table. It's insane. It's mayhem, but we love it. The chaos that is the dashi. Anyway, I hope you do have a good time this, this festive season and enjoy wherever you are, the cold, the snow, because I know it's snowing up north, or the sun where I am at the moment. And we've been very lucky with the warm weather. But there is no rest for the wicked and I am still on the path to helping you build a truly authentic business and brand. So without further ado, let's go into today's subject. Today is all about nailing your brands, who, what, where and why to take your business to the next level and truly connect. That is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about who, what, where and why. You probably hear it a lot in life, but we're talking about your brand and your business. That's all I focus on. That's my goal in life. And I'll continue talking about brands until you're sick of hearing about it. But I don't think I'll ever get sick of talking about it because it's quite interesting. Anyway, back to the subject. Knowing the who, what, where and why is literally knowing what your business stands for from the inside to the out. Knowing what it is that makes you who you are away from everybody else and makes you unique. This then leads into once you know your who, what, where and why, it helps you then understand a lot more and make a lot more decisions with your business. It's not hard, it's actually very easy, but it just takes that time to sit down and write it down and then know what to do with it after. And that's what I'm here to help you with today. People or brands that know their who, what, where and why are really successful brands. You think about any business or brand that you love today or you aspire to be like, they have nailed the who, what, where and why because that is the foundation of all the decisions for their business. So. Do you want to work out how you can work out your who, what, where and why and what even that means? And Claire just stop saying it and give me some sort of action. Sure, 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 sure. I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I do this in my brand pack. It is the first week and really it's a brain dump to just get it all out in the paper because you start a business, you get excited, you start, you've got the website, you've got the selling your products and you're, like, what? you're there. But you haven't taken the time to step back and work out why is this all here and why have I started this and where did it start and why did it start and who did it start and all this. It's really, really, really important and I think I'm rambling now so I'm just going to get straight to it because I think it makes no sense. I had, no, stop, it makes no sense. I'm going to go back. I'm going to talk to you about the who, what, where and why and then we can talk about that further. Okay, the who. Well, who is it? Who is your brand and what was your aha moment? When did you start this? You know, your aha, who are you? What made you who you are? And aha moment is what was it that woke you up in the middle of the night, stopped you eating breakfast, stopped you mid-conversation, said, I need to start that business. There is, a, there is a gap in the market that I know I can feel and I know that I'll be successful. What was that aha moment that made you take the leap? The who? Does that make sense? Who is the brand? So can you write that down? Whenever you want. I can go through this, you can pause me. However you like to play. 
The next point is what? What does your brand stand for? So what is it that makes your brand different to everybody else's? What is it? Why are you, it, this is starts talking about and delving further into unique selling points, which I talk about and I have a webinar coming soon that gets you to unravel all this beautiful juicy goodness. But what is it or what does your brand stand for? And every brand stands for something. So think about that. And don't just say, well, I have, you know, I sell stationery. I understand for anything. Yes, you do. Think about it. It sounds hard, but if you understand and you, if you're here watching this, you get the importance of branding. You wouldn't be watching this otherwise. So you know what I mean. Think about this hard and maybe even if you're wondering about it yourself, ask someone around you that's close to the business or you and ask them what they think. If you can't get that insight, but it's there, just try and dig. Where is it going? It's another thing. So where is your business going? You know, what is your, what's your dream? What is your goal? What are the goals for your business? Where is it going? Where do you see it tomorrow? Where do you see it next year? It's a perfect time to start thinking about this going into the new year. What is it you want for the new year? What do you want for the next five years? And how does that look? So where is your business going? And this is, I would just encourage you to write this down on a notebook. Pick your notebook up. Where's my notebook? Get your notebook now. Get your pen. I actually don't even have a pen on me, it's somewhere. Get it out and start writing. So I want you to write a list of who, what, where and why, and I want you to just write a sentence or two for each. So now we're up to why. Why does it exist? Now this is not who is it, not what who is the brand, and not what does it stand for, why does it exist? Why does it exist means why is it there? And what does it stand for that no one else, nobody else does? You know, there is a, what is this gap in the market that makes it truly unique? This is your really, you know, fleshing out more of your unique things. Why do you exist? So let's quickly recap. Who is your brand? And when was your aha moment? You know, what's that little beginning? What does your brand stand for? What is it that you stand for that no one else does? There might be a couple of things. Where are you going? So where is your target and where do you want to, where do you see the business? And why does it exist? So why do you keep going? And what does it make? And why is it unique? And why is it here and no one else has it? Why are you who you are? Does that make sense? It's a quick one, it's a simple one, and I think it's a great thing just to do to cap up your year, to think about your who, what, where, and why. Who, what, where, and why. And it's a great platform to start thinking about your business. And then from there, when you know your who, what, where, and why, and you can truly answer those questions, then you have a foundation that you can then plan from and look into your new next year and make that better starting from your foundations and planning accordingly. If you set a strong foundation with your who, what, where and why, you can then truly connect with your target market and you can start building those relationships because you know why you started. You know your who, what, where and why. In my brand pack, that is my first week, we talk about, we flesh out, I get you deep and juicy into your who, what, where and why and I start delving more into things and make you think about things that you would never think about in your business. As I said before, you have all the answers but sometimes you just don't, you're the mouse in the wheel and you just can't get to them because you're so busy. So I'd encourage you to have a look at my website, pop over to mybrandstory.me and have a look at my brand pack. It's a five week course, you can do it in your own time, you can do it at night, it's a lifelong membership. I have payment plans as well. It's, I built this to be able to appeal to everybody. You know, people that are time poor, people that are running their own business, people that are not marketers but need the help with their brand and they need that. It's a perfect time of year to have a, have a look at that and start really planning on what your business looks like and where your brand is going to make it successful. 
it doesn't sound like it, but this is a very commercial, commercial product to then make your decisions easier. It saves you time and it makes you understand what you stand for, the who, what, where and why. We then go into from week two, understanding the personality. We delve further into the personality of your business. Week three, we talk about your target market. Who are they? Exactly pinpoint of who they are and why they act the way they do and how you can connect with them. I then do a mood board with you in week four and talk about your competitors. Where do you sit in the market? What's your point of difference? How you can gain market share, gain sales from your target, from your competitors. And then in week five, I put it together in a beautiful one page of marketing map and we talk about you, we identify your unique selling point and your mission statement and it all comes together in this beautiful document that you will use in every decision for your brand. But it all starts with your who, what, where, and why. That's right, isn't it? Yes, who, what, where, and why. That's it for me, and I hope you have a great festive season and enjoy time with family and friends. And if you're working like me, have fun as well because, you know, you're here because you love what you do, and that's why I keep doing it. And in, when you don't, you know, you don't think about it. But start with who, what, where, and why. So I'll leave with stay true to your brand because what your brand story. I'm going to leave with stay true to your brand story because what you have to offer, nobody else does. Remember that. I'm Gless Balding. Thanks for watching my weekly vlog. If you want to know any more, hop over to my website, follow me, all the all the bits and bobs. I'll be here next week telling you more about branding tips. So stay tuned. Thanks.